thoughts, prayers, and best wishes from around the ACC are going to Hall of Fame basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell after the announcement that she is battling leukemia. I'm Jeff Fischel. It's Tuesday, October 15th. This is the ACC Now. The announcement yesterday from Chapel Hill hit like a punch to the gut. Sylvia Hatchell would have to step away as coach at North Carolina to get treatment. She says she'll still be involved day to day with the team and will return as soon as possible. Then she added, quote, my veteran staff and team will be well prepared and meet any challenges until my return. Don't forget, I am a Tar Heel woman. If you've ever gotten to talk to her, that is classic Sylvia Hatchell. Roy Williams, who had a cancer scare himself last year, released this statement, quote, I'm heartbroken for Sylvia, Sammy, and Van. I know how much Sylvia loves to coach and compete with her team, so any time that she misses will be difficult. But she's tough and she will fight this with everything she has. All of us at Carolina and all of her friends in the coaching community will support her 100% in this fight. Roy's right, Sylvia is getting support from coaches all over the country. If there was one message, though, that was particularly poignant, and just might choke you up even, it's this one. Maryland women's basketball coach Brenda Fries tweeted out this picture of her son Tyler holding the sign, you can do it. Tyler is also battling leukemia, so the fight ahead for Hatchell is one that Fries understands as well as anyone in the conference. I'm going to take a quick time out here to say that all of us here at the ACC Digital Network are wishing Sylvia the best as well. Her passion for basketball and life come through every time we talk to her. We know she'll beat this and be beating opponents on the court very soon. What she's going through puts the games in perspective, but there's no doubt this Saturday's Florida State Clemson game is about as big a college football game as can be. It's the first top five ACC matchup since 2005. Both teams with Heisman candidates at quarterback. Jimbo Fisher says it's going to be a great night for the conference. We have great football in the ACC. Now we get a chance to showcase it, and it's, it's great for the country to understand that we have two top, rank, two top five teams that have national uh, contender aspirations and abilities, and uh, I think it's great for our league. I really do. Tomorrow here on the ACC Digital Network, Operation Basketball. I will be interviewing players and coaches from every ACC school live all day long. It's the first ACC Media Day for Mike Bray, Jamie Dixon, and Jim Beheim. Plus Roy Williams, Coach K, Joe Harris, CJ Fair, James Michael McAdoo, and more. And just like during football media days, we're throwing the players into the photo booth. Yes, that's right. That as well. That's starting at 9 a.m. live on the ACC.com. I'm Jeff Fischel. That's the ACC Now on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.